every night that you see a Jewish prison officer trying to do stand-up. <laughs> they'd probably think there wasn't enough dough in it for them and they'd be right. <laughs> anyway, the fact of the matter is, how in this day and age is the, what is the appropriate method for telling a politically incorrect joke? Very quietly. Now, that's the easy one. They get harder from there on. Yeah, there's no doubt that political correctness is destroying us. It's killing humour. It's, it's, anyway, which, which, for example, like, trans fats are bad, trans people are good. Work that one out. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's, um... <laughs> which begs the question. Now, what two groups in society love wearing wigs and gowns? Transvestites and lawyers. Yeah. Work that one out. Anyway, so prison officers are supposed to be intellectually challenged. Uh, to use the precise medico-legal terminology, they're fuckwits. <laughs> and, and, anyway, anyway, it's said by some scurrilous sources that the combined IQ of 20 prison officers would be roughly equivalent to the IQ of your average stick insect. And sometimes, sometimes that's undeserved, some, sometimes it's downright insulting to the stick insect. <laughs> and, and, to, to be honest, prison officers deserve a medal for the work they do. It'd just be hilarious watching them trying to pin it on. <laughs> <laughs> you could see them sidling up to a prisoner on the quiet and saying, what do I do with this medal? You stick it up your ass. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> now, Jewish people tend to be rich and left-wing. So with some exceptions, a la moi, but generally speaking, they tend to be rich and left-wing. So when they come across a Jew who's working class and not left wing, they don't know what to make of him. So anyway, I've had people come up to me at synagogue and ask me what I do for a living. Well, that's not quite right. What they'll say is, eh, what do you do for a living? <laughs> and when I say prison officer, they'll, uh, after they pick themselves up from up off the floor from falling over laughing, they'll say, no, but seriously, what do you do? <laughs> and, uh, and so, if I had a said comedian, they probably would have believed me. Felt sorry for me, but wouldn't believe me. And Jewish boxer? Uh, maybe not so much. And, and uh, if I'd said pole, the Olympic pole vaulter, they'd still be waiting for the punchline. But uh, my forebears, my forebears were rag and bone merchants in London. Now, carrying on that proud family tradition, I still shop at the Salvos, but the Pran market's become a bit too trendy for me lately, so I don't go there so much. So I'm virtually a rag and bone man without, any, without the bones. And great great grandfather Izzy would have been so proud. Now, I live, I live in West St Kilda. I, I live in East St Kilda. I grew up in West St Kilda. Live in East St Kilda, grew up in West St Kilda. So I haven't changed city or moved from one suburb to, the, to another one. I've moved from one side of the suburb, one side of the suburb, to the other side. So, I mean, that's, that's St Kilda. That's, that suburb is St Kilda. That's where it, the penguins at the end of St Kilda breakwater have syringes hanging out of their flippers and ask you for your small change. <laughs> now, don't, don't think I haven't thought about far off lands with exotic names like Preston or Sunshine. Or, <laughs> and I've thought about their culture and um, their customs and even whether they speak English there. <laughs> and, 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 the, the fact is, though, that um, I went to a school reunion um, recently, at my old high school, and um, they had an award for the person that had travelled the farthest distance to be there. And there was a guy that was an accountant in uh, Hong Kong, a couple of other people had come from overseas, and there was uh, a couple of people from the interstate. And I had travelled exactly 180 metres. <laughs> so, next thing after that... <laughs> Next thing, next thing after that, they had the uh, a stick's not going to come out with a hook on the end and drag it to the <laughs> But uh, next thing after that, they had an award for the most successful student. And I knew I wasn't going to be looking good for that one. But anyway, so I, said to me, I thought to myself, well, unless they got an award for the shortest distance someone had to travel to get there, and unless everyone else is in jail, chances are I wasn't going to be looking too good for the most successful stu former student. So I thought I'd better just piss off, which I did. And, uh, <laughs> and anyway, as we say in East St Kilda, or more colloquial known, colloquially and affectionately known within the tribe as the Bagel Belt, oi vey! Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah.
Thank <laughs> you.